what's up what nation I just got back in from a little bit of BTB yeah, I've been getting questions about my tires and what I've gone to uh, for the sand let's talk a little bit about my beach tire system let's take a look you know after spending years and years of dragging these outbacks through the sand to the beach we finally got smart, went to Mariner Sales and ordered us some beach tires. Now I wasn't sure how much of a difference this was going to make. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be just a little easier than dragging them or if the wheels were going to be a hassle. Um, you still have to either bring them back to the car or you have to put them in the boat with you. I wasn't sure how that was going to pan out. But here's my report. This is what happened. What's happening folks? Alright, I've had a lot of people ask me about the wheels, the balloon tires that we use on the beach. I like them well I can tell you this I just did this drag that I've done a million times by literally dragging the kayak to the water and I will put it as somewhere around two to three times easier than dragging on the sand Here, I'll roll a little bit show you what it looks like Now when I just got off the water right now, I had to get these tires in the boat. And I'll show you the way that I did it. You have to get the tires underneath and you can't really lift the kayak and get them underneath all at one time. So I just took everything out for the most part and I set it in the sand. It took like my mirage and that stuff. I laid my rods on top, kept the reels out of the sand. You know what I mean? Did like that. Tilted her on her side. My wheels, of course, were in the kayak with me, sticking in the same holes. So they were in there on this side, like that. I pulled them out and just inserted them in. And then we're in. Just came back over here and flip the kayak over. All right. And then I put everything back in the kayak like that and I ran her on up and these horse flies are biting me sand flies not real happy about that they do make it easier to load up on the trailer too when you're loading out you have some elevation so I can go ahead and set that nose up there like that So the tires actually helped assist me in loading up because there's more elevation. And when I lifted, it just fell right out. Now I was riding in the water with them back here. So you just insert them in here. And I fished with them like that. I fished with them like that all morning. As you can see, I still have room for my recessed rod holders. No problemo there. I don't really notice the weight. They don't weigh hardly anything. But I was able to set everything down, put them under, and roll right back to the car all in one swipe. Having to walk back to the car and get your wheels and then walk back adds a lot of work when you're talking about this powdery white snow sand. You know? Man, these sand flies. Holy mackerel. Look at that. And I'll probably tie them down and leave them right there on the way home. So this is actually a Hobie frame, and then the guys at Mariners hooked me up with wheels, um, balloon tires. And that combination to me is perfect for this soft sand. We'll catch y'all later. Well, thanks a lot for watching 30 Days of 30 Miles Out. See y'all later. What? Why are you killing me, man?